I'm going to switch gears here. And uh, just a warning, this is not for the faint of heart progressive snowflake. Love that you're here. Uh, but I'm going to challenge your thinking uh, because this is, again, this is a part of Ken's ever-going desire to talk about the softness and weakness of America because this is bad and this is coming your way. It's going to affect our economy. So the headline is uh, the Chicago mayor has proposed city-owned grocery stores as Walmart and Whole Foods have exited. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson says he wants to open city-owned grocery stores. You ready for this? To serve neighborhoods that have become food deserts after four Walmart stores and Whole Foods left the area. Now, let me just tell you something. For those of you who don't pay attention to this stuff, it, you're gonna. Some of you're gonna snap your head back a little bit and go, "I ah, Ken, that's a little overreactive." It's not. Let me tell you something. This is straight out of communism. It's the playbook. When the government starts getting into things like basic services, like groceries, and that's a service that a company provides, we pay for it. When the government gets involved in groceries, folks. And again, for those of you that are really provoked right now, I want you to be provoked. And what I mean by provoked is, is you're listening to what I'm saying, and you're going to go, I want to dig into this. City-owned grocery stores is straight out of the Communism 101 playbook. Why do you think Walmart has left Chicago? Because it's not profitable. <laughs> Why is it not profitable? Okay, number one. Uh, due to the extremely low-income areas, the residents can't afford it, number one. And then number two, there's a ton of looting and stealing. And so this is just basic economics. If we have 20 items of anything, let's take this 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 thing here, all right? So let's say this is a, a bottle of fruit juice, and I, and I got 20 of them on the shelf, Okay. The grocery store pays the company, let's say it's called Ken's Apple Juice. Boy, this is a riveting product, isn't it? Okay. This is Economics 101, Alex. And so we've got right here, we've got ourselves a fake bottle of Ken's Apple Juice, and I sell it to the grocery store, Walmart. Walmart pays me a per unit price for the apple juice. If six of the bottles are stolen. Guess what? We got a problem. Walmart doesn't get their money back with the profit margin baked in, which is business. Some of you go, oh, Walmart's so big, who cares? Oh, God help us. You don't understand supply, demand, basic economics, and how it affects you. And by the way, let's not forget that stealing is wrong. But they can't keep doing that. They can't keep doing it. So Walmart goes, we're out. So enter the mayor of Chicago and his brilliant communist ideas. Uh, this is what he said. Uh, excuse me. This is this is uh, this is a statement from Walmart uh, on why they uh, have closed and then they've kept other Chicago WalMarts open. He said, uh, this, this, the spokesperson said, we continue to face the same business difficulties, but we think this decision gives us the best chance to help keep them open and serving the community. So still having problems all across Chicago because Chicago is a freaking disaster. More on that in a moment. Okay, Because the question I have is, with all of the crime in Chicago, my question for the mayor is, uh, yes, uh, your, your honor, uh, what makes you believe that the city-owned grocery stores won't be looted as well? Since your police force is so effective in Chicago, what makes you think that the residents aren't going to steal from the government, which means steal from the taxpayers? So we're not solving the problem. We're trying to put our finger in the hole of the dam. It's not solving anything. Uh... Johnson's administration still needs 
So this is there's some hope here. Still needs to report to uh, conduct a feasibility study before providing a timeline of actually opening stores. Hey, uh, dear mayor of Chicago, uh, I can save you, sir, time and money on your feasibility study and tell you unequivocally right now that it is not feasible. It will not work. It's not going to work. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so tickled by this, but I mean, who thinks that any government can run any business or organization more efficiently than the private sector, number one? Number two, have you paid attention to what's going on in Chicago and now this mayor thinks he wants to put in community-owned, government-owned grocery stores and that's going to work great? Mm-hmm, sure, sure. So let's just look at the, the problems that Whole Foods and Walmarts are facing. I, I laid them out in a minute. I mean, a minute ago. So what are they doing to solve those problems, Mr. Mayor? That's actually your job. In this case, the government's job is to make citizens and businesses safe so that, A, people aren't stealing from them, and, B, they can actually exist and serve the local resident. So the answer is not community or excuse me, government owned grocery stores. The answer is more police that are allowed to actually crack down on crime. It's force, not undo, but just you're going to be a bad guy. You go to jail and everybody goes, you know what? We can't game the system anymore. We probably should start acting like a law abiding citizen. That's the answer. The answer is not more social dependency taxpayer-funded grocery stores? By the way, who wants to work at those stores? Let's be honest. You got a much better job at working at a Kroger or a Walmart where you're going to get good hourly pay. Walmart's been a leader on raising uh, minimum wage in their own company and led the charge in 2020 to where we saw a lot of wages go up. Good on Walmart. You're going to be way better off working for Walmart. With benefits, the opportunity to move up the ladder, Walmart stepping out going, we're not going to require college degrees. There is a path to actual financial peace and prosperity by working for companies like Walmart. But now you're going to go work for the city government of Chicago? I can promise you right now those benefits aren't going to be great, and there is not a nice path. I don't think there's a path at all to prosperity. Get government out of business it's not your job this is going to fail miserably even if they get it off the ground i'd be shocked if they do if they do it's going to be a mess this is the ken coleman show